in the words of Shang Tsung. It has begun! I believe pickup video in the history of YouTube um, could be wrong could be 37th in the history of YouTube no idea but from all the videos I've seen haven't seen anything quite like this so sit back relax get ready we got all sorts of systems and handhelds and everything now normally for those of you who follow my pickup videos I usually read the backs of all the games I'm not going to do that this time because it is going to be so long that I might just read a snippet or two of what's going to happen all right so we're going to start with DS. We got a whole bunch of DS games here, as you can see. So here we go. For the DS, we got 100, and some of these are sealed, by the way. 101 Sports Mega Mix from Atlas. Okay, it's 101 addictive games, 101 different sports. So that's pretty much that. It's a uh, bunch of uh, uh, party games, as you want to call them. So there you got it. We have American Dragon, Jake Long, Attack of the Dark Dragon. So right here, uh, this is a Disney game, as you know, for those of you who follow my channel. Uh, number one, I collect party games. Number two, I also try to collect every Disney game that came out for every system, um, for every generation, I should say, starting with NES on up. So this is one of them. There's a lot of shovelware Disney games like this. But when you're doing what, you're, what I'm doing, that's, the, that's the, the call of the wild. Next up, we have a sealed copy of Scholastic Animal Genius, Challenge Your Animal IQ. So this game, the reason I have it is because, again, it's like a puzzle game or a trivia game, and any of those types of games I collect as well. Next up, we have a sealed copy of Astrology DS. I'm huge into this type of stuff, uh, so that's why I picked this up. Sort of like Ishido, The Way of the Stones, if I recall, for the NES and Game Boy. It's similar to that. No, 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 no. Not Ishido, The Way of the Stones. It was called, oh, man. Oh man, I can't picture the. I can picture the game. I can't picture the name. It had like a sun, not a sun, like a like a purple box with a purple sun on it. If you guys can figure out what I'm talking about for the NES only, didn't come out for the Game Boy, but it came out for the NES. If you can, I think it's like the seventh, the seventh seal or something like that. Um, not to be confused with the movie uh, with some. I forget who the star did it. Anyway, we got backyard hockey. Okay, for the DS, pretty easy stuff. Every sports game, major sports game, baseball, football, basketball, hockey, I collect for every system, excuse me, every generation of system, I should say. Like, for example, for those of you who are new, if um, starting with PS1 on up, if a game came out for, let's, let's, this is a better example, PS2 and Xbox, similar, right? So if NBA 2K came out for the PS2, I'm not going to buy the same copy for the Xbox. However, PS1, N64, Dreamcast, I'm going to buy the same game for each system because, again, graphically, it would have gotten better. Next up, we have Backyard Sports Rookie Rush. Okay, next up, we have a sealed copy of Triple Pack Ben 10. Okay, now, why do I have Ben 10? Well, any game that comes with multiple games on it, I collect for. Okay, otherwise, I'd have no use for this. Next up, we have The Bigs 2. Surprisingly hard to come by. Sealed copy of Brain Voyage. Any brain type of game, any puzzle game, any game with the word puzzle in it, I collect. But in this case, obviously, we know it's a puzzle game. It's Brain Voyage. Next up, classic. We have Bust a Move DS. This is not a classic, but the Bust a Move franchise is. So we have that. It was the only one that came out on the DS. All right. Next up, we have... Captain America Super Soldier. Now, why do I have this game? Well, I'm collecting every DC and uh, Marvel game I can. Uh, when you guys see the game room, you're going to see the DC and Marvel wall. So not only do I have all the games, I'm having all the movies. I even have, like, Batman from the 1930s. I have that DVD collection, so you'll see that in the game room tour. Next up, we have Challenge Me Word Puzzles. Pretty easy stuff. Next up... Another Disney game, The Cheetah Girls, Pop Star Sensations, another shovelware Disney. All right, next up we have Chuck E. Cheese's Game Room, okay, another party game type of situation. 
with Chuck E. Cheese as the mascot. As a kid, I was never able to get to Chuck E. Cheese. My mom would never take me. I was so pissed. Back growing up in, in the East Coast there, we had something called Dream Machine, which was basically an arcade with tickets, which is what Chuck E. Cheese was without pizza, but we had Papa Gino's right, right next door in the Walpole Mall. It's where I used to go. And I used to say to her, why can't we just go to Chuck E. Cheese? And she goes, it's because the pizza's disgusting and it's gross and it's gross food and blah, blah, blah. But that's what she's heard. Now, everybody's going to comment and say, oh, yeah, yeah, it was horrible food. You understand, even it was horrible food, I want the experience. Still can't, still haven't gone. Classic word games. Okay, and now this additional Nintendo DSi features is from Ubisoft. Again, shovelware uh, party. Uh, here we have a four game pack. This is an expensive one, by the way. This is like $40. Okay. Clue, Mousetrap, Perfection, and Aggravation from DSi Games. This is an expense. For something so ridiculous, it was actually expensive. Next up, we have a sealed copy of Color Cross from Zoo Games. I think Zoo, if I'm not mistaken, is an Australian publisher. Could be wrong. Cooking Mama, Mama's Combo Pack. This is Volume 1, Cooking Mama and Camping Mama Outdoor Adventures. This is from Majesco Entertainment. Next up, we have CSI, Crime Scene Investigation, Deadly Intent. Now, I collect all the games for all the shows that I've seen, as well as movies, and as example. Well, I'll get to the example when we get to one. Here we go, we have a sealed copy of Deca Sports DS. Okay, another two to six person multiplayer using only one game card. It's another puzzle in a puzzle. It's another party game uh, featuring, um, featuring sports. Okay. Next up, this is a classic. We have Don Bluff Presents Dragon's Lair from Destiny Air Entertainment. A huge Dragon's Lair fan. Next up, we have Dropcast, Wicked Puzzle Fun with a lenticular cover, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but there you have it. Okay, now, I'm not a soccer fan. Um, FIFA World Cup Germany 2006 from EA. The only reason I have this is because... Any uh, World Cup game, I collect. Once every four years, so I collect that. Here's a Disney game, a special edition of Finding Nemo Escape to the Big Blue. So we have that one. Next up, we have a sealed copy of Fishdom from Atari. It's another puzzle game. Next up, we have Freddy Fish ABCs Under the Sea from Atari. This is an expensive one to find, Fritz Chess for the DS. It also came out for the uh, Wii, which I have. The Wii copy is uh, 20 bucks. This is almost $50 to find. Fritz Chess, very uncommon, almost rare game for the DS. Uh, any chess game, any board game for that matter, I also collect for with exceptions. Like, I'm not going to collect the game of, well, the game of life I would because I played it. Um, let's see, let me think of a game I risk I'm not going to collect for. I very rarely played that game. My dad was a huge fan, but not me. But Monopoly, uh, you know, chess, checkers, um, backgammon not so much by itself, but if it's included, sure. Game & Watch Collection 2 from Club Nintendo. Again, uh, different Game & Watch games all in one pack. Next up, we have Godzilla Unleashed Double Smash from... Uh, Atari, now this is a perfect example. I'm a huge Godzilla fan of the movies, therefore I have to collect the games for them, as well as the movies. Casino game, any casino game I collect, so that's why we have Golden Nugget Casino DS, and this is from Majesco Entertainment. Next up, we have a sealed copy of Hands-On Tangrams from Storm City Games. A little puzzle game. Here's one. Harlem Globetrotters World Tour, Harlem Globetrotters uh, Outrageous 2 on 2 action. I also picked that up from a previous video, as you can see. I picked up for the Game Boy Advance, I believe it's a sealed copy. This is not now sealed. All right, next up, Henry Hatsworth and the Puzzling Adventure from EA. Action and Adventure with a Puzzling Twist. So there you go. Next up, we have a sealed copy of Heathcliff Frantic Photo from Storm City Games. Now, Heathcliff obviously was a comic strip that I grew up with, but that's not why I bought it. I bought it because it's a puzzle game, and you can color in the comics, which is pretty cool. So you have the stylus, you can color them in. I'm all for that. I'm a huge paint-by-number guy, color-by-number guy. 
The Incredible Hulk from Sega, another Marvel um, game for the collection. Disney game, we have The Incredibles Rise of the Underminer, tough game to find in the wild complete. So, I went on to eBay. Next up, we have a sealed copy of Intellivision Lives, over 60 classic games from Virtual Play Games, any compilation I also collect, even though I have no interest in Intellivision ever. Here we go, here's one, Interactive Storybook DS Series 1. Now why would I have something like this? Any game that has a series in the name, volume in the name, version in the name, in percent in the name, like these, one in two, which would be two games on one I collect. Same thing here, this is part of a series in the title, so I collect it. Next up we have Iron Man 2, another Marvel game. Next up, we have Jelly Belly Ballistic Beans Sealed Copy. Why do I have that? It's a puzzle game and it stars a candy character. Okay, Sealed Copy, Jenga World Tour from Atari. Again, it's Jenga. Everybody's played it. If you haven't, go buy one. Played it when I was eight. Sealed Copy of Purple Hills Jewel Match from Atari. Another th uh, drop three, uh, match three game. So, you have that. One of the best Match 3 games I think I've ever played in my life, and it was in the mid-90s, and some of you may remember this, some of you may not, but it was on an Apple computer, and it was called Jewel Box. Jewel Box was incredible. The music in Jewel Box was incredible. It was a great game. Loved it. One of my favorite of all time, as far as that goes. Uh, Justice League Heroes for the DS, another Marvel, excuse me, a DC game this time. Next up, Disney game. We have Kim Possible Global Gemini. And we have Disney's Kim Possible Communicator. We have that. One of these is worth more than the other by a lot, by the way. Here's some uh, geography fun. From Dreamcatcher, you got Learn Geography, which I hated as a kid. And we have a sealed copy of Learning to Spell. I love these types of games. Keeps your mind fresh, even though it's for kiddies. Here we go, here's a perfect example. Legacy of Ease, books one and two from Atlas. We got that. Running out of room here. Legend of Spyro, the Eternal Knight. Any mascot character, the, the big heavies like um, uh, Spyro, Mario, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, I will be collecting for that. Next up, we have a sealed copy of Let's Draw. Pretty self-explanatory there. Next up, we have Little League World Series Baseball 2008. A sealed copy is next up of Logic Machines. We have LOL, Never Party Alone, Multiplayer Only from Age Tech. Huh, this is funny. If the game is boring, you are boring. That's pretty funny. Basically, it's saying even if our game sucks, and we know it does, it's your fault. Sealed copy of M&M's Break'em. Again, the only reason I have this is because it stars M&M's. Next up, we have a copy of Magnetica from Nintendo. It's a puzzle game. We got 2K Sports Major League Baseball 2K10. We have 2K Sports Major League Baseball 2K11. We have Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. We have a sealed copy of Marvel Trading Card Game. We have a sealed copy of Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. Here we go. Midnight Mysteries, the Edgar Allan Poe Conspiracy. Now, the only reason I have this, it's a point-and-click type of a game or a hidden object type of game, the only reason I have this game is because it's Edgar Allan Poe, and I love him as, a, as an author, so I grabbed that. Otherwise, point and click, the only other point and click games, or hidden object games I should say I play, are the Murder, She Wrote ones that came out for the PC. Uh, and I played those probably eight years ago, or six years ago. No, it was eight years ago. All right, no, I lied. I think this is the one that's worth the most. The other one was not. This is the one that's worth like 40 bucks. Monopoly, Boggle, Yahtzee, and Battleship, four game fun pack. It's one of these two that's worth a ridiculous amount. Next up, My Japanese Coach. Any language type of game I will collect for. I have the Berlitz uh, languages for uh, the original black and white Game Boy. So same thing here. 
All right, next up, sealed copy of Neopets Puzzle Adventure from Capcom. I guess Neopets is a Nickelodeon show, never heard of it. Next up, a sealed copy of New International Track and Field from Konami. Next up, a sealed copy of Tap and Teach, The Story of Noah's Ark, a Bible-type game I collect. Next up, from Nintendo, we have Picross 3D, a puzzle game. Find the uh, hidden, hidden uh, whatever in the game. Next up, a sealed copy of Pictionary. Next up, we have Puzzle Expedition, a puzzle game. Now these are pretty cool games, and I want to I want to actually play these. Some of these I'm not going to play, but this one I do. This is called Puzzle Quest Challenge of the Warlords, and it's like an RPG puzzle game type of deal where you know you solve puzzles, but there's actual like I'll give you an example. Puzzle Quest Challenge of the Warlords delivers for the first time ever classic puzzle game action back with an epic story of good versus evil. Challenge your skills in single player campaign mode or battle your friends via wireless multiplayer. Experience a puzzle game like nothing you have played before. So there's 150 plus quests await you in story mode, and there's a story behind it, which is pretty cool. Sort of like Tetris Plus. I, the only reason I love Tetris Plus so it's Tetris, and it's, there's a story behind it, which is pretty cool. It's an underrated Tetris game, by the way. Quick Spot, another party game from Bandai Namco. Next up, we have this is another expensive one Reader Rabbit Kindergarten. Safe Cracker, the ultimate puzzle challenge. So if you want to get into a life of crime, you can try that. Sealed copy of Sesame Street Elmo's A to Zoo Adventure, the video game. Comes with that. Sesame Street pen, the whole deal. Next up, seal. Oh, this is not sealed, but then we have Sherlock Holmes, the mystery of the mummy. Why do I have that? Sherlock Holmes fan. And same thing here. This is a sealed copy. We have Sherlock Holmes and the Mystery of Osborne House. Next up, we have a two-part, a two-pack. We have Shrek's Carnival Craze Party Games and Madagascar Carts two-in-one party pack. Okay. Next up, we have Six Flags Fun Park, another party game with Six Flags as the backdrop, the amusement park. Next up, we have Smart Boys Game Room 1 and 2. Puzzle, uh, puzzle game. Party game. We have Smart Girls Winter Wonderland. Party games. We have Smart Kids Mega Game Mix. Same series there. Then we have a sealed copy of Space Bust a Move. So I was wrong. There's two Bust a Move games for the DS at least. Space Bust a Move. Next up, we have a sealed copy of Spanish for Everyone, over 6,000 words. Say it, play it, learn it from Activision. Then we have a Disney game. I didn't even know it was a Disney game, um, but it's Spectrobes. Okay, and the good thing I looked through my app because I would have thought I was almost done with DS Disney games. I was not. There were two of them. Spectrobes, and then we have a sealed copy of Spectrobes Beyond the Portals. And this comes with four code input cards inside. Collect and trade them. So we got those. Next up, we have Spider-Man Battle for New York, another Marvel game that I needed. We have another Disney game, Sealed Copy, Spy Kids All the Time in the World from Majesco. Again, almost impossible to find complete in the wild. Most of these were Squeeze Balls Party, another party game. Squee Balls, not Squeeze Balls, Squee Balls. So you got that. Star Wars game I was missing, Lethal Alliance for the DS. Next up, we have Super Fruitfall, another game from Codemasters. Superman Returns, DC game I was missing. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade Attack, huge turtle fan, always have been. I don't really like the, the current movies, I, I didn't get into them, I just did. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Nightmare 3, so we got that one. Tenchu, Dark Secret, huge Tenchu fan, I was happy there was one on the DS. This is a great game, I can't wait to play. Touch the Dead with your stylus. Touch the Dead with your stylus. So I'm pumped about that. And for the, for the Dreamcast, I have Typing of the Dead. When I finally have some time, I'm going to play that because I'm a 
great typist. We'll see how I do well. I'll probably do better as a typist than I do holding the light gun. A uh, sealed copy of Treon Cube. Three, two, one, blast off. Get ready for a totally different puzzle adventure. Ultimate Puzzle Games Sudoku Edition from Telegames. USA Today Puzzle Craze from Destineer. Huge word search fan. Love them. Love word searches. You can do that uh, forever, really. You can lose yourself in there. I used to have an app on my phone that was basically word search and Based on the puzzle that you had, you solved it in a certain amount of time, you had a leaderboard of where you ranked in the world with everybody playing. Where is Waldo the Fantastic Journey? Huge Where is Waldo fan? Grab the game. We have a sealed copy of Winter Sports The Next Challenge. That's Winter Sports 2 The Next Challenge. So again, why do I have this? Multiple game sports in one. So it's not one of the four major sports, but there are events. So therefore, like a track and field type game. Next up, sealed copy of Wonder World Amusement Park from Majesco. Again, this is another party game. X-Men Origins Wolverine, another DC game, or Marvel, excuse me. I, I, I can't really grasp X-Men being in Marvel but with the MC universes and everything else. And then the last DS game we have is Zoo Quest Puzzle Fun with Steve Irwin from Australia Zoo, home of the Crocodile Hunter. So we got Zoo Hunter Puzzle Fun. This is actually, again, $20 or $30 game, surprisingly. All right, so those are the DS games. So let's go right on into the N64 games. First up, we have Bust a Move 2 Arcade Edition. Next, we have Bust a Move 99. Next up, we have a Magical Tetris Challenge. Can't wait to play this one. I cannot wait to play Magical Tetris Challenge because it's Disney and it's Tetris and there's a story behind it. I'm going to be pumped to play that game. Pumped. Next up, Nagano Winter, Nagano Winter Olympics 98. This is an expensive and you're going to lose your minds when you hear this. NBA In The Zone 2000 is one of the most expensive games, well, it's probably the most expensive sports game on the N64. This is upwards of $200 complete. It's so, it's, it's rare. They didn't make a lot of them. Then we have the new Tetris, Four Player Frenzy. Next up we have Olympic Hockey 98. Now, the only reason I have this game is because it's a puzzle game. We got Pokemon Puzzle League. The infamous Superman 64, needed for the collection for the DC side. The last N64 game we have is Wetrix. So, those are the N64 games I got. And next up, let's go into the Sega CD. Now this is an expensive one and a rare one to find complete. ESPN NBA Hangtime 95. Not as expensive as NBA in the Zone 2000. Close. This is a sealed copy of My Paint, the animated paint program. Next up, we have the San Diego Zoo presents The Animals. And then for the Saturn, we have Bust Move 2 Arcade Edition, Bust Move 3, Olympic Soccer, another expensive Saturn game, also came out for the PS1, Shanghai Triple Threat, three games in one. You got the Great Wall, Beijing, and Golden Tile. That's the only reason I have that. Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. Midway Ar presents Arcade's Greatest Hits. The, Willi the Atari Collection 1. Winter Heat, another rare, or expensive I should say, Saturn game complete. And lastly, this is also expensive. We have WWF WrestleMania, the arcade game. Now I collect every WWF game I can. WWE, no, because I never got into the ch name change. I stopped watching. Next up, 32X Games, we have one. Oh no, we have two. We have a sealed copy. Oh no, this is not sealed. It's pretty much in its same, and it's plastic, but it's not sealed. But again, a very expensive 32X game. And another sports one at that. World Series Baseball starring Barry Sanders. And then we have WWF WrestleMania, the arcade game for the 32X. For the Master System, we have Marksman Shooting and Trap Shooting. We have Sega Slapshot, 
And then we have Sega Walter Payton football. So those are those. Now let's go to the Genesis games. We have Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. We have Back to the Future Part 3. And again, I have Adventures of uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle. I saw that as a kid, therefore I have to collect the cartoons and the games. Back to the Future, I have all three movies. I've got to collect the games. Barney's Hide and Seek game, I have that because again, as a kid, growing up in the 90s, I watched Barney. California games, this is a, uh, part, uh, not a party game, but a uh, bunch of different sports events that you can play. It also came out for the Atari Lynx that I do not have, I need to get. Here we go, Chester Cheetah Wild Wild Quest. I have this because it's a mascot, an actual food mascot type of game. It's why I have that one. Now, this is Columns. I already have Columns, but this is the variant of the Sega Classic, so that's why I have that. Two Columns, Columns, and then this variant. David Robinson's Supreme Court. This is kind of a pricey one. Double Dragon 3, the arcade game. Huge beat-em-up fan. Huge, huge beat-em-up fan. This case is like broken, but what are you going to do? All right, next up, this is a, I won't remember seeing this. I used to work at Funko Land way back in the day, and I used to see this all the time. Fun and Games from Trade West. Five fun zones. you got art, games, music, and more. Look that. We also have two out of, I did off, out of for the Olympic Rings, the Sega Classic variant of James Buster Douglas Boxing, the Jeopardy Deluxe Edition, Jerry Glanville Pigskin Football, the Sega Classic variant of Joe Montana 2 Sports Talk Football. We have Math Blaster Episode 1. Huge into math games, and this was a double whammy because you also had the episode one in the title. Mutant League Football, another pricey Genesis game, and the priciest of the two, Mutant League Hockey. NCAA Final Four Basketball. Olympic Gold, Barcelona 92. Olympic game. And from uh, Black Pearl Software. Olympic Summer Games, Atlanta 96. Prince of Persia, huge Prince of Persia fan, and I think I'm missing a couple, and that's it from every Prince of Persia game ever. The Sega Classic uh, variant, Revenge of Shinobi. And we have Sega Club, the Sesame Street County Cafe. Spot goes to Hollywood. Summer Challenge. Eight great summer events. Another Olympic type game. Super Baseball 2020. This is a pricey one right here. Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends Adventure Series. VR Troopers. Saw that show when I was a kid. Winter Challenge. And we have. Winter Olympic Games, Lilyhammer 94, and then the last Genesis game we have is World Cup USA 94 with the World Cup mascot, uh, whatever his name is, this uh, dog here. So those are the Genesis games I grabbed. You have a couple of Virtual Boy games. First up, we have 3D Tetris, and then this is one of the few... Um, I don't collect PAL, I don't collect foreign games at all. One game I have that came out in Korea was Parappa the Rapper for the PS4. That's Parappa the Rapper, so I had to get it. But this is an exception I made. This is V-Tetris. This came out in Japan for the Virtual Boy. Now the reason I have V-Tetris is because V-Tetris is actual Tetris, whereas 3D Tetris is not really Tetris. 
It's, it's, it is, but it's not. It's like you take the 3D blocks, you have a 3D view, and you take the blocks and you put them in this way versus the up down. You go inside the cube, and you know what? I'm all good with that. If I want to play Tetris on the Virtual Boy, I have B Tetris. So I'm pumped about having that. Now, for the links, we have Gauntlet, the third encounter. We have NFL football. We have a sealed copy of Ninja Gaiden 3, The Ancient Ship of Doom. And we have a sealed copy of Pac-Man. Huge Pac-Man fan. Any Pac-Man, any Miss Pac-Man thing I have to get. I don't care what it is. 3DO games. Sid Meier's CPU Bach. This is a sealed copy. Your 3DO can compose original music. Bach. There's that. We have a sealed copy of 3D Atlas for the 3DO. We have a sealed copy of the 3DO Buffet with, uh, it's a sampler disc. You got Casper, Kingdom of the Far Reaches, Alone in the Dark 2, Wolfenstein 3D, Siberia, Waterworld, and Out of This World. And we have a sealed copy of 3DO Interactive Sampler number four, which gives you Balls, The Director's Cut, Battle Sport, Blade Force, Captain Quasar, Icebreaker, P.O.D., Shockwave 2, and Space Hulk. And the special bonus includes 3DO Storage Manager Utility. And then lastly, this is not sealed, but I have finally have the long box version of this. I have a CD, ver just the CD case by itself. But I was able to get Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo for the 3DO, so I'm pumped about having that finally. In the long box, long box version. Alright, those are the 3DO games. Next up we have the Jaguar CD games. First up, a sealed copy of Dragon's Lair. And then finally have a long box version of this, Highlander, The Last of the Clouds. I'm a huge Highlander fan, huge fan, uh, so I had to grab that, even though the game is terrible. Next up, we'll just get to the Neo Geo Pocket Color game. We have Sonic the Hedgehog Pocket Adventures, so grab that. We'll go to the PSP games. First up, we have Ape Escape Academy. Next up, we have Crash Mind Over Mutant. Next up, we have Crash of the Titans. Next up, we have Ghostbusters, the video game. The remasters coming out soon of this. We have Gradius Collection. We have Lego Indiana Jones, the original adventure. We have Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. We have Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. We have Metal Gear Acid 2. We have a sealed copy, I think. No, not a sealed copy. But this is Metal Gear Solid Digital Graphic Novel. I was sworn this was sealed, but it's not. And then we have Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops. I already have the Plus game. I needed the original game. This is a rare one to find. NBA. Very strange, it's not expensive, it's just rare to find. NBA, it's like five, I got it for five bucks. Can't find it anywhere though. Took me a million years on eBay to find it. Pac-Man World 3, as I told you guys, I'm a huge Pac-Man fan. This is a sealed copy of Pinball Hall of Fame, the Williams Collection. We have a sealed copy of Prince of Persia, Rival Swords. We have Pop Power Stone Collection, Rocky Balboa, Scarface, The World, uh, Money, Power, Respect. Then we have a sealed copy of the Silent Hill Experience, Snoopy vs. the Red Baron. Charlie Brown Snoopy uh, fan, so I have to grab those games. Street Fighter 3 Alpha Max. Street Fighter Alpha, I'm an idiot. Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max. Sealed copy of Tekken 6. And the last PSP game we have is uh, World Series Poker Tournament of Champions 2007 Edition. So those are the PSP games I grabbed. Okay, Xbox games. We have Fusion Frenzy. 
It is a sealed copy of the double pack NCAA Football 2005 and Top Spin. We have a. You're not sealed. We have Sega GT 2002 and then Jet Set Radio Future double pack. And then we have Super Bubble Pop. Alright, we'll start with long boxes for PS1. Frank Thomas Big Hurt Baseball and Lemmings 3D. Now, for the collections, I finally have Crash Bandicoot Collector's Edition in pretty good shape, box-wise. And then, same thing here, box has seen better days, but it's not the end of the world, Spyro Collector's Edition. And now, this is Barbie Software, Gotta Have Games. Why on earth do I have this? Again, it's a, it's a party game. Gotta have it. Next up, we have Barbie Super Sports. Again, multiple party game and sports. We have Busta Move 2 Arcade Edition. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, why, Andy, would you have this when you also have the Saturn version? Well, when I was a kid, I had a Saturn first. And at the same time, I had a PS1 that was modded, so I got a lot of games that way modded for the PS1, and I actually had duplicates. Where Saturn and PS1 technically graphically were the same, they were both 32 bit. But PS1 didn't have, I think, and I, I'm, I can't get into the, the ins and outs because I'm not a genius, so correct me, I'm not going to be wrong when I say this, but I believe Saturn had. It could do 3D, but it couldn't do it like the PS1 could because it was really wasn't really like 32-bit. It was two whatever pro. Now that's the Jaguar had two 32-bit processors to make it 64. I forget, but you guys, I think know what I'm talking about. Uh, so that's why I had a lot of game duplicates, both for the Saturn and for the PS1. So that's why I have that for the PS1. Next up, Busta Move 99. Now, why do I have this when I have one for the N64? Again, the N64 is graphically better, so I had to get both versions. Bust a Move 4, FIFA World Cup 2002, International Track and Field, Konami's, this is sealed, this is the International Track and Field 2000, Marvel Super Heroes, Nagano Winter Olympics 98, Olympic Soccer, you already saw the one for the Saturn, here's the PS1 version, Olympic Summer Games, Pink Panther, Pinkadelic Pursuit, I'm a huge Pink Panther movie fan, so that's why I have that. Star Gladiator Episode 1, Final Crusade, a sealed copy of Super Bubble Pop. We have Sydney 2000. We have Tecmo Stackers. And we have World Cup 98. So those are the PS1 games I was able to get. Next up for the Dreamcast, we have... Bust to Move 4, we have ESPN International Track and Field, we have Sydney 2000, we have a sealed copy of Virtua Athlete 2000, we have Wetrix Plus, and then we have Extreme Sports. So those are the Dreamcast games. Next up, we'll go into the Wii. First up, we have 101 Sports Party Mega Mix. Next up, this is an expensive as hell game for the Wii. American Mensa Academy. Very, very expensive. We have the Arcade Shooting Gallery by itself. We have Bit Trip Complete Party Game. Arc Retro Arcade Rhythm Music Series. So it comes with Bit Trip Beat. Bit Trip Core, Bit Trip Void, Bit Trip Runner, Bit Trip Fate, and Bit Trip Flux. We have a sealed copy of Bust a Move Bash. No, it's not sealed. I lied. Not sealed. This is hard to find complete. I don't know how many times I find this game in stores, but the, there's no manual. We have the cages, pro style batting practice. They have the game and they have the case, but never have the manual. This is an expensive Wii game. Chuck E. Cheese Super Collection. Then we have the Cooking Mama, Mama's 2-pack. We have Cooking Mama World Kitchen and Cooking Mama Cook-Off. We have Crash Mind Over Mutant. 
We have cruise ship vacation games. We have Data East Arcade Classics. We have the new play control variant of Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Here's Fritz Chess again. You saw the one for the DS earlier. We have the Hasbro Family Game Night Fun Pack. We got Family Game Night 2 and Family Game Night 3. We have Help Wanted, 50 Wacky Jobs. Jewel Quest Trilogy. You got Jewel Quest Mysteries, Mahjong Quest, and regular Jewel Quest. We have Jump and Start, Get Moving, Family Fitness featuring Brooke, Burke, Brooke, Burke. We have the two-for-one power pack of Kawasaki Jet Ski and Kawasaki Jet... Or then we have Island Sports Party Summer Sports 2. So we have that. Then we have Kids Sports Crazy Golf. It's a mini golf game. I collect most mini golf games. Here we go. We have Lego Batman the video game, which includes the movie inside. It's the silver pack. The Mario Power Tennis New Play Control variant. MLB Power Pros. MLB Power Pros 2008. Neopets Puzzle Adventure. Once Upon a Time Storybook Series. Oops! Prank Party. This is an expensive Wii game, the Oregon Trail. And I bought this because it's the Oregon Trail like we all played on the Apple computers as a kid. We have Party Pigs Farmyard Games. Disney's Planes Fire and Rescue. Racket Sports by itself. Rita Rabbit First Grade. Now this I know is sealed. This is Rock Blast. It's another three drop puzzle game. Three match puzzle game. Save Cracker, you saw the DS version. Sam and Max Season 1. And Season 2 of Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space. Here we have Shrek's Carnival Craze Party Games. Sleepover Party with 60 party, 60 plus party games. SNK Arcade Classics 1. This is Sonic and the Secret Rings, but this is the Target Edition. And the Target Edition has a Sonic and the Secret Rings comic book DVD inside from Archie Comics. So I have that variant. Spectrode's Origins. Disney game I didn't know existed. Squeeball Party. I saw that from the DS. This is a sealed copy of Storybook Workshop. A sealed copy of Story Hour Adventures. With Aladdin, the Three Brothers, Paul Bunyan, and Jack and the Beanstalk. A sealed copy of Story Hour Fairy Tales with Cinderella, Snow White, Rapunzel, and Twelve Dancing Princesses. And then we have the Nintendo Selects version of Super Mario Galaxy. Then we have Team Elimination Games. We have Ultimate Shooting Collection. This is a sealed copy of Vacation Sports. We have Where's Waldo the Fantastic Journey, Winter Blast, Nine Snow and Ice Games, Winter Sports 3, The Great Tournament, this is Wonder World Amusement Park, you saw the DS version, and the last Wii game I got was World Championship Athletics, this is sealed by the way. So those are the Wii games. Alright folks, now we're going to go right into the PS2 and I have the Beat Mania bundle sealed. We have that. Let's go over here. 
we have the Disney Classic Stitch Experiment 626. Now, this is an interesting game only because I don't know if this is a variant of the other Disney Stitch game, um, but it's definitely a cover variant. It has a Disney Classic, so I don't know if it's the same game or a different one. I think it's the same one. Here we have Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Special Edition featuring San Andreas The Introduction and Sunday Driver. So we that. We have the last missing hack game, Hack Dot Hack Quarantine Part 4, the final chapter. The enemy DVD is included. Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. We have Jam PlayStation Underground Jam Pack Winner 2001. We have the special edition Greatest Hits version of Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Now this came with a bonus disc, that's why I grabbed this version. Marvel, this is an expensive one, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. The Document of Metal Gear Solid 2. Another hard one to find. Out in the wild, at least. We have the Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsidence Limited Edition. Another hard one to find in the wild. Both in Massachusetts, where I'm from, New York, New Jersey, doesn't matter. Connecticut couldn't find this game. MLB Slugfest 2004. It's ridiculous. We have a sealed copy of Karaoke Revolution Volume 3 with the microphone. Another one hard to find in the wild. Power Rangers Super Legends 15th Anniversary. Huge Power Ranger fan. We have Scarface The World Is Yours Collector's Edition. Another hard one to find in the wild. The Simpsons Skateboarding. Street Hoops, garbage, uh, you know, NBA Jam type game. And then lastly, X-Men Origins Wolverine for the PS2. Now, we have a couple, we have one Game Boy Advance game and a couple GameCube games, so let's go into that. First Game Boy Advance game, we have Super Bubble Pop, this is sealed. And for the GameCube, we have the Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition, promotional disc includes four classic games, they're not for resale. You got The Legend of Zelda, Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and The Legend of Zelda Mahora's Mask. Includes a playable demo of Zelda The Wind Waker. So, got that. Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. And then a sealed copy of Pac Man Versus. Shout out to Retro Wolf88. Go check out his channel. A uh, channel will be in the description below. Uh, Retro Wolf 88 I messaged him on Instagram and I said, hey man, I said, because he is a huge, huge GameCube guy, I said, Pac-Man Versus, I'm missing this. Was it an actual game or was it just, did it just come in the sleeve? And he did some research for me and he found me one on eBay, but he found me and he said, no, it just came in the sleeve. That was it. So, because uh, I didn't want to get this and then find out that it actually came in a regular, regular box. So shout out to him, but this is a sealed copy of Pac-Man Versus. Now, for the handhelds, and we're almost done. We got through this. We got Mortal Kombat. This came out. Uh, it's a it's a arcade classics. Includes three AA batteries. Try me. 90s gameplay. So Mortal Kombat, little tabletop. Huge Mortal Kombat fan. If you already haven't, check out my Mortal Kombat movie I made when Mortal Kombat 11 was about to come out. But select your fighter and battle opponents in one-on-one -on -one time matches. Drain your opponent's health bar to win each round. First to win two rounds wins the match. Play a finishing move to hear the famous words, finish him. So Midway Classic Arcade, there you go. You know, so hey, I'm gonna collect any Mortal Kombat I can. And then lastly over here, I picked these up. This is really cool. I'm excited to have some of these. Because I didn't even know these existed. But we have these Tiger and Sega formed together Tiger Electronics and made these pocket arcades. So here we have Sega Sports Baseball, which includes the batteries. Nine, this is sealed. Nine innings of big league baseball excitement, four skill levels on offense and defense, turbo power for pitching fast balls and stealing bases, and a hidden screen pivots out, which is pretty cool. Turbocharged LCD action. So, I'll show you the back of that. And that's the baseball one. Then we have the Echo the Dolphin one, which is sealed, but the box behind it is really beat up. Guide Echo through a beautiful yet dangerous undersea world as he searches for his missing family. Seven different seas for Echo to explore. Turbo Power helps Echo make quick escapes. 
and it flips open to reveal a hidden screen. So turbocharged to LCD action again. So you got Echo the Dolphin. Then we have, this is in really good shape, we have the Deion Sanders baseball version of baseball. Play ball with nine innings of Deion Sanders big league baseball. Choose from four different skill levels on offense and defense. Turbo button lets you take a crack at Grand Slam home runs Deion Sanders style and a hidden screen pivots out. So you got this one. And then the last one is the pocket arcade football. So pass, block, kick, you make the call. Eight offensive and defensive strategies. Four skill levels. Turbo power for throwing deep and sacking the quarterback. Flips open to reveal the hidden screen. Turbocharged LCD action. So we got the football game. Guys, thank you for watching the one of the biggest, if not the biggest, pickup video in YouTube history. I appreciate it. Uh, check out uh, most some of my other uh, pickup videos that you can see. And uh, very soon, once I uh, arrange all of these games, you guys are going to see the actual 2019 Game Room Tour that I should have done last year and didn't have time to do and should have done in 17 but didn't have time to do. So this is two years in the making, this uh, Game Room Tour. Uh, with over 5,000 games now, and arcades and pinball machines, you'll see it all. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, uh, there were three games that for some reason I stupidly didn't uh, show up to the camera. So they're all for the Wii. You got a bonus, little bonus uh, pickup game here. But we here we have the arcade shooting gallery, includes game and 20 inch blaster. Uh, that's why I said when I showed you the arcade gallery by itself, that's why I said by itself. Then we have the Racket Sports, um, complete with the camera or whatever it comes supposed to come with. Okay, we have that. And then lastly, we have a sealed copy of Disney Sing It Pop Hits with the microphone. So thanks for watching, guys, again. We'll see you next time.